One. Ava Magnesely, welcome to QDOS in Construction. Hi, Peter. Thank you very much for the invitation. No, thank you. Um, and thank you for all the amazing work uh, you've been doing within construction and innovation, which we're going to talk about today. So I'm going to start, before we learn a little bit about yourself, uh, one quick question. Tell us one interesting fact about yourself. Hmm. Okay, so maybe um, it could be that I'm like curious by nature uh, and I love learning new things. So that also explains my diverse professional background. I see new things in other industries. I want to know about them and then I dive in. <laughs> <laughs> Fan fantastic. So Ava is the director of Data Form Lab and today and the reason that um, she's been part of the QDOS in construction innovation list was the integration of industrial robotics within construction which we'll touch upon today before we get to that i want to dive into your background and what brought you to eventually starting data form lab uh, so my background uh, is in architecture and engineering. Uh, that's my first master's. Uh, I started in Greece. Uh, I came to London uh, to study a second master's uh, at the Architectural Association um, at the Design Research Laboratory, where I started working uh, with industrial robotics for my thesis, uh, trying to understand how to bring these uh, advanced technologies uh, in construction. Uh, and uh, then I followed quite a like broad uh, career path. I worked in a big architectural practice in Foster and Partners. Uh, I also worked in a small robotic startup. Uh, I coordinated an academic club for a couple of years, uh, an architectural robotics lab. Uh, and what I realized through all these positions was that uh, in construction, there are many inefficiencies. Uh, there is a lot of fragmentation and um, both from the side of the architect, the designer, uh, and from the side of the fabricator and manufacturer, uh, there is no common language most of the time. Mm. And uh, we, we don't connect the design and fabrication part at the very beginning of its process. So um, I, I realized all this... Uh, inefficiencies and um, issues and problems, if you want, uh, and trying to solve them from all the other positions uh, was not possible for me, uh, both from the part of the architect uh, who has to follow uh, a program that the client gives, uh, or from the side of academia, for example, doing research in big academic institutions that have a difficulty in translating into actual construction projects, I realized that there is something missing there. So that led me into forming my own company, trying to bridge the two parts. That, that's fantastic. Just taking a step back before we, we look a little bit further into that, um, you said at the start you're quite inquisitive by, by nature. When you were a bit younger, was robotics a, 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 a thing or, or digital or innovation no. a thing for you? Or was it was it more just uh, colouring in and, and, yeah. and, and things we do when we're younger? Yeah, that's a good question. No, actually it was not. Uh, before I came to London, it was not. Uh, what brought me to London, though, uh, was the fact that uh, I was trying to understand how innovation in architecture and construction works. And uh, I thought that coming in the UK and studying in uh, such a really good master's uh, would give me the opportunity to see it uh, firsthand. Uh, so I was always uh, trying to, um, to achieve like innovation in in the industry, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't see, uh, even now, I don't see robotics as the answer to everything. It's just another tool, just another, um, like something to help us uh, transform the sector. Okay, excellent. So let, let, let's explore that a, a little bit further. Um, robotics in construction, clearly when you say that, people are going to think, 
you know, um, all the all these robots taking over the world yes. and and all, all that kind of stuff that we've seen <laughs> that on is movies. Very and, <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. But what, what does robotics in construction actually mean? So yeah, uh, you're right. Um, most of the people, when they hear about robotics in construction, they think uh, either about androids moving things <laughs> around or uh, robots laying bricks. Um, I, I disagree with these opinions uh, and this, these views uh, because first, I don't believe that automation needs to uh, replace every manual process. Uh, but also it's not about uh, replacing um, things we can do manually uh, and make the processes even more inefficient. Because if you think about it, think of an Android uh, placing a big plasterboard. The obstacles you need to, um, to work through, like how to make this robot stand, are much larger than actually placing that plasterboard. So my point of view, like my um, idea about robotics and construction is using these technologies that uh, they have revolutionized other industries such as manufacturing, learning from these uh, other industries and how this revolution happened and applying them uh, in an efficient way. For example, in offsite construction within a controlled factory uh, that we can automate several processes and make like increase productivity, make them more efficient. Um, and most of all, uh, I believe that robotics and construction can help us change the mindset that we currently have. Uh, because we always think about fabrication and uh, manufacturing at the very end of the process. So somebody designs something, it might be complex, it might not be, but then the fabricator comes in. Whereas when we are thinking about robotics and construction, because these tools are very flexible, they allow us to create uh, a digital workflow that links design and fabrication straight away. And there is no loss of data. And that can help us think about fabrication early on. So that can help us change the way we think about construction processes overall. Excellent. So you, you touched on something there, um, the way we start to think about the construction processes. What are the benefits are you seeing to um, the integration of industrial robotics? So, of course, there are the obvious ones. Uh, everybody talks about automating offsite construction at the moment, uh, and it is a really good uh, time to, to be in this discussion. Uh, so everybody sees uh, the benefits of increasing productivity, uh, increasing efficiency uh, in offsite factories, uh, reducing waste uh, by having a right first time approach, uh, increasing uh, health and safety. Um, but I, I also believe that um, this mentality shift that uh, we can achieve by using what I just mentioned, digital workflows that connect design and fabrication uh, is a really important benefit uh, because that can actually help us achieve uh, a real lean construction model. Uh, because there is a lot of waste and not just material waste. There is time waste, there is money waste uh, currently in construction. Uh, and by helping people uh, use digital workflows in their everyday uh, work and activity um, and helping them understand that robotics is just another, uh, just another tool, just another machine. Uh, I believe that this will lead to a general mentality shift uh, of how we think about design for manufacturing performance, design for fabrication. Uh, exactly, it's, you, you touched upon the three principles that, that I always say that, that time, money, resource, if we can change one of those, or we have one in abundance, we can do more things. And that's exactly what you were saying about robotics there. Yeah. Um, do you have any examples of, of, of what's going on here? Uh, so we have been working on several projects uh, that um, 
try to link uh, design and fabrication uh, using robotics. Uh, the, the important part is to understand that not everybody wants to deal with the complexity of programming a robot. Uh, and most uh, manufacturers uh, want to uh, increase the level of automation they have in their facilities, but they might not know how or uh, what the benefit would be for them. Uh, so this is the type of work uh, I, I enjoy uh, doing, like the challenge, uh, trying to create tools, digital tools that enable all designers uh, to engage with these robotic technologies without having to deal with the complexity. Uh, and actually, uh, at the moment, um, I'm also working on developing a platform that would link designers and fabricators and try to bring them together to have a common language uh, and understanding. Um, but also, uh, we work on projects, uh, for example, um, translating directly uh, design parameters for a complex facade into uh, robotic code, uh, where we can achieve uh, mass customization. Uh, its facade panel can be different, uh, but under the same rules of being um, uh, generated, the robot knows exactly what to do. So in that way, we don't have to reprogram uh, for every different element uh, of the building. And that can apply to uh, facades, it can apply uh, to structural members, it can apply to uh, partitions. Uh, it's just the, the general um, way of thinking of creating a feedback loop between the design and uh, the fabrication. And of course, uh, the important part of having a parametric model that links to the robotic uh, construction um, code is that you can link that further to other parts of construction, uh, including logistics, including transportation, uh, on-site assembly, uh, everything can be uh, scheduled and streamlined from there so that we can bring together all the different parts uh, of a construction project. And I, th I think that's where there can be huge efficiencies. It's connecting the various components um, that might not, for want of a better word, talk to each other yet um, yeah. that can that can really help in, in construction. So. Let's let's finally look at the the future then. What are the or what do you see as the capabilities of robotics into the future? Uh, so, ideally, I think uh, by demystifying these technologies for construction, uh, we can achieve quite fast. I would say uh, fully automated offsite factories. Uh, creating uh, elements for on-site assembly. Um, but like, I think it's not just about the hardware, it's not just about the robots. I think what we need to work towards is uh, uh, redesigning the construction processes. Uh, and the robots can help us do that because they are very flexible machines. So uh, when we can reimagine the uh, construction process, we can reimagine the fabrication process as well. We already have the information and the materials that we can use. We don't need to reinvent the wheel, uh, but we can make everything more efficient. Uh, to give an example, uh, the car, the way it's made in a factory, it's not the same way that it would would be made manually. And in the same way, we don't need to put robots to lay bricks because the brick is an element that is designed for the human hand. It has the dimensions of a human hand. So we need to rethink about the construction processes and in that way, revolutionize construction and generally create innovation and like change the way we think about it. That's that's excellent um, and a really really good way to to, to end. I think, um, Ava. Finally, thank you so much for number one joining me today and number two doing the fantastic work you are 
in the construction industry. So uh, kudos to, to you and your work. Thank you very much, Peter. <laughs>